हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर मोर स्टेटिक्स प्रॉब्लम्स नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम 336 इन दिस प्रॉब्लम द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ एन ऑन ऑफ मैकेनिज्म फॉर अ टेबल लैंप आर शोन इन द फिगर एंड द इलेक्ट्रिकल स्विच एस रिक्वायर्स अ फोर न्यूटन फोर्स इन ऑर्डर टू डिप्रेस इट राइट सो दिस स्विच रिक्वायर्स टू टू बी प्रेस्ड विद फोर न्यूटन फोर्स राइट सो एज अ रिएक्शन दिस स्विच विल अप्लाई the four newton force in the opposite direction right on this arm on this mechanism right so if we draw that force so that force will be acting in this direction and the magnitude of that force will be 4 newton right so this will be that force let's say this is 4 newton force right and it is said that what corresponding force f must be exerted on the handle at a right so we have to find the magnitude of this force f which we need to apply at this point a in order to press this switch with 4 newton force right so now if i draw uh, two axes if i draw let's say that this is my positive x axis let's say this is our positive x axis and let's say that this is our positive y axis right so now as we can see that this line which is parallel with the y axis and this line which is parallel with this right they are making 30 degree so here we have 30 degree angle right and now if i draw another line if we draw or if we extend this line right if we extend this line and if we copy this line and if we bring this line to here right so and if we place it here now as we can see that this line this line is parallel to this line and this line is parallel to this line right so this from this we know that this angle is 30 so then this angle is also 30 degrees right so this angle is 30 degrees and if this is 30 degrees so then this angle is also 30 degrees right so this angle is 30 degrees as well as a whole and this force f is making 15 degrees angle with this line right so this means that this force f is making 15 degrees with the uh with the vertical with the y axis right if we extend this line so this angle is 15 degrees right so now uh we can resolve this force f into its two components right so this force f is making 15 degrees with this line so this force f will have two components right so it will have one component which will be acting in this direction right so it will have one component like this this will be one component of this force f and this will be the cos component we can write that this will be f cos of 15 degrees and similarly this force f will have one another component and that component will be acting like this right so this will be the sine component so this component is the sine component so we can write that this is f sine of 15 degrees right now uh is we can see that uh, the the system is in equilibrium so the moment at point o the summation of moment at point o will be equal to 0 right and if we consider that the clockwise moment the counter clockwise moment is positive right so now as we can see that this 4 newton force is producing the counter clockwise moment about this point o so we will write plus and this will be 4 and the perpendicular distance of this 4 newton force from that point o is 30 mm so we will multiply this with 30 similarly as we can see that this cos component of this force f is producing the clockwise moment about this point o so we will write minus f cos of 15 degrees and the perpendicular distance of this cos component from that point o is this distance this 90 mm distance plus this distance let's say that this point o is let's say s and let's say that this point is t right so the perpendicular distance of this cos component from that point o is os distance plus st distance right and similarly if 
if we look into this sine component so then this sine component is also producing the clockwise moment about this point o so we will write minus and this will be f sine of 15 degrees and the perpendicular distance of this sine component from that point o is this t a distance right or a t distance so let me write that this is a t distance so o s distance is 90 mm right and this s t distance so if we join this point s with that a if if i join this point s with this a point so then this is this s a distance is 60 mm right and if we consider this s a t triangle if we consider this s a t triangle so then as we can see that this s a line is perpendicular with this purple line right this is perpendicular with this and this line is perpendicular with this line right so this means that if the angle between these two lines is 30 degrees so then this means that this angle is also 30 degrees right so we have this s a t triangle and the s a is the hypotenuse of this triangle right so this means that s t will be the cos component of that s a right so we can write that s t is the base of this triangle and this is equal to 60 cos of 30 degrees since the hypotenuse s a is 60 mm this is given right so 60 cos of 30 is s t so now this this is equal to 120 120 minus f cos of 15 degrees and o s distance is this 90 mm so we will write 90 plus s t is this much 60 cos of 30 60 cos of 30 degrees minus f sine of 15 degrees and this a t is again the perpendicular of this triangle so we can write that a t will be the sine component of that 60 so 60 sine of 30 degrees right so we can write that this is 60 sine of 30 degrees so this will be equal to zero so now from this equation we can find the magnitude of that force f which is required to press this switch s with 4 newton force now when we simplify this equation so then we get this and from this if we bring this 120 to the other side of the equation then we can cancel this minus sign and then f will be equal to 120 divided by 144.88 and the magnitude of this force f which need to be applied at point a is 0 0.8283 newtons right so this is the solution of this particular problem